So, um, lately I've been making progress and I'm about 12 pounds away from my goal for a stage in November. But I realized that I need to keep that as a limit. Um, I think it's very important to have accountability on both sides of the spectrum. Not only when you're trying to lose weight for health reasons, you need accountability. Everyone knows that. But whenever you're trying to lose weight or make weight for some kind of competition or something that you're doing, you need to have accountability there too. Not only do you have to make sure your nutrition is on check, but you also have to make sure that your mentality is in check. And if you're not obsessing over things or trying to do something unhealthy or be at an unhealthy weight in order to do the competition you're doing. And so for me, there's no outline of what your weight should be when it comes to being in bikini. It's just based on what you think. But um, for me, I want to make sure that I'm in, I'm not old underweight or going trying to be underweight for this competition. So I have a cutoff weight that is healthy for my height and when it comes to you know my mentality approaching this and how I'm doing you know I have that accountability in my husband because he's close enough to the situation to know what's going on and what shouldn't be going on so um, that's that um, the way that I feel is if by November I don't think I look ready to compete then I'll just wait until another competition I'm not going to obsess over it, but I'm not going to also go on stage not feeling comfortable because if I don't feel confident I'm not going to do my best so I want to be able to feel good when I walk on stage and so as far as the way I look now I feel like I like the way I look um, there are some things that I would minor things that I would like to improve but I like the way that I look already so what I'm doing to do the competition is like you know top um, top physique in my book for my personal preference so that's how that is it's not like I feel like I need to look stage ready all the time you know um, but it's, it's hard to keep your mentality straight when it comes to that. Um, I found out that I have a vitamin D deficiency. And that is very important because I'm lactose intolerant. And I don't um, get a lot of vitamin D that way. I don't go outside much. You know, even when I work out, it's indoors. And so I need to make sure that I'm getting enough vitamin D. Um, I am taking supplements, but that's actually not helping enough. So that means that I need to do those extra things and I'll probably up my vitamin D intake in order to meet the necessary bone density for my health. So that's top priority on my list, like for real. So I'm going to be doing that and um, everything else I feel pretty good about, I think, um, I have a picture of what I want my body to look like and I'm I'm striving to get there but I'm trying to keep myself in line to make sure I'm not going overboard you know lost a lot of breast tissue so far and I know I'm gonna lose even more this picture of me in the with the yellow top that was in December and I my breasts had gotten smaller by that point and when I look at them now, they look huge. But um, now I have even less. And by November, I know I'll have any, even less. But the great thing is that my abs are starting to come in. And I'd rather have abs than have lots of boobs. I actually like having smaller boobs. I, it's solving a lot of problems for me that I had um, in life and just health-wise too. So... I don't mind having small boobs and I think that that's an issue that I can correct later on and I don't mind that. One thing I'm proud of is that I am building my glutes up pretty good. 
I've seen a lot of improvement in a short amount of time. So by November, I'm expecting them to look great. Everything with Youth Training Zone has been going great. Um, I'm really getting a lot of experience and it's fun working with the kids, so I'm enjoying it. So I'm starting a new class at iFit for hip hop dance. I'm going to do a lot of dances. I'm going to do like some Latin inspired, some like just general hip hop, but then some really sexy ones. Um, maybe some that are inspired by, you know, belly dancing. So it's going to be very interesting and fun. I'm looking forward to that. Here's a little reminder of where I'm coming from. This was me last year around this time. And, you know, I am most happy about how my face has slimmed down because, you know, even with all the makeup that I do, and I love that, it's fun for me, but even back then, I knew my makeup look and just overall, I would be looking so much better if I could take this mask off this mask of fat that I was wearing on my face and I had so much weight on my face like I just had chubby cheeks and everything and I think that I was pretty even then but I think I've always wanted that chiseled look and now that my face is achieving that you know without doing it with the makeup and trying to create the illusion I really like that. That is something that I get to enjoy about my weight loss every single day.